Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. In today's quick tip, I'm gonna show you how to use the very handy seed random expression with the wiggle expression in Adobe After Effects CC 2025. First, I'll show you how you can use the seed random expression if you want multiple layers using the same wiggle expression to animate the exact same way. And then we'll look at using index in the seed random expression instead of using a seed number. So first, let's add everybody's favorite expression, the wiggle expression on the position property. So I'll select this logo one, I'll tap P for position, press option or alt, and click on the stopwatch next to the position property. I'll type out wiggle, all lowercase, W-I-G-G-L-E, open and close parentheses. The first number is the frequency or the speed. How fast is the animation? I'll put a comma, and the second number is the amplitude. How much? So I'll put a value of 50. That just says that the logo can move up to 50 pixels from the original spot. I'll tap the space bar and now we've got some wiggle on that logo one. I'm just gonna select that expression and copy it, Command or Control C. I'll go to logo two, tap P, option click on the position property, paste, Command V. I'll copy the expression one more time, Command or Control C. Now I'll select logo three, tap P for position, option or alt click on the stopwatch, paste, so now all three logos have the same wiggle expression. And when I tap the space bar, you'll see they are not all animated in the exact same way. That's because After Effects automatically assigns a different seed number to each layer. But by having a different seed number automatically, that is why even though you use the same wiggle expression on each layer, there is some randomness but the randomness is unpredictable. So if you want more predictability or more control over that randomness, well then you can introduce the seed random expression. I'm going to click inside the expression editor. I'll tap the left arrow key, then tap the enter or return key, and then the up arrow key so I'm above the wiggle expression. I'm gonna type in seed random, lowercase s, e, e, d, capital R, a, n, d, o, m, open and close parentheses. I'll put the number one, which is the seed number. I'll put a comma, and then I'm going to put true. True is just going to make sure that I get consistent results. I'll tap the right arrow key to get outside of that parentheses and put a semicolon for best practice. But I'm gonna copy that expression, Command C. I'm gonna paste it in the other two, so now they're all identical. Now when I tap the space bar, we no longer have that randomness all of the logos are animating the exact same way. The main reason they are now all animating the exact same way is that we told After Effects, instead of assigning a random seed number on each layer, all three of these layers have the same seed number. And since they have the same wiggle expression, they all are animating identically. I want logo one and logo three to wiggle the exact same way but I want some randomness in logo two. All I have to do is simply change the seed number of logo two to anything else but one. The number does not matter. So I could put five, 20, 100, again, does not matter what the seed number is as long as they're different. So I'll just put five, I'll click away. Now all the wiggle amounts are the exact same. The only difference is that logo two has a different seed number. And now when I tap the space bar, one and three are animating the exact same way and logo two is random. So using a seed number in the seed random expression is going to give you the most control. If you have multiple layers and you wanna use the same wiggle amounts just so there's some cohesiveness, but you wanna be able to control which layers are animating the same and which layers are more random you will use seed numbers. But maybe you just wanna use the same wiggle number on multiple layers, but you don't wanna to have to worry about adding a seed number. Well, then you can introduce index. Every layer in After Effects has a number assigned to it. That number is called the index number. So when you use index in an expression, you are referring to a layer's index number. 
and you may not have ever noticed it, but if you look down the layers panel, you will see a little hashtag or a number symbol. And if you don't, you right click, go to columns and make sure that the number sign is checked. But that number that you see there, that is the index number for that layer. The top layer is index one, then two, then three. And if for some reason your top layer is not showing number one, that probably means that you have layers hidden. So if you had a layer on top, but you used the shy guy to hide it, well then it would be the next number. But if you look at that number, that is the index number. Let's say that you wanted to make a bunch of duplicates of these logos. So you could select them, Command D, Command D, Command D. And now you have a whole bunch of copies. If I select these and tab EE, they all have that same expression, but they're all gonna have the same seed number. So the ones that have the same seed number are gonna animate the same. And maybe you wanted all those duplicate copies to just be totally random, yet use the same wiggle expression. For randomness, instead of putting the seed number, you can just type index. I'll just copy index. Using index in the seed random expression is telling After Effects to assign a unique seed on each layer. Even if the wiggle expression is identical, assign a unique seed, which is going to automatically produce a unique animation. An advantage of using index over a seed number when you know that you want the layers to look different. When you duplicate a layer or multiple layers and it's set to index, you don't have to worry about going in and changing the seed number. You know, no matter how many times you duplicate the layers, they are all going to have a unique seed because they're set to index. So they're all going to animate differently. And if you want any layers to wiggle the exact same way, well, you can just replace index with a seed number. So if I want this one and eight to wiggle the same way, I'll go to eight, I'm going to change index, pick any random number, 17, I'll go to one, just has to be the same as the number that you want it to be the same as. I put 17 there. So now one and eight are wiggling the exact same way and all the others are random because they have a unique seed. And that is how to use the seed random expression in Adobe After Effects CC 2025. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.